this guy is nuts. Is he really making daily recordings of his possible divorce and releasing it as a podcast? They both cheated on each other? She's making six figures and still doesn't contribute to any joint endeavors financially? Why is she still with him? Why is he still with her? I can't wait for the next episode. This helps me be a better wife. So this is how men think. I hate my husband less now. What? I understand my wife more now. These are some of the listener comments to the Divorce Diaries podcast. All over the map, I know. These anonymous accounts of events should resonate with anyone that has been married, is married, or is preparing for marriage and helps couples avoid pitfalls as they might prepare for marriage. Entire seasons are released on Patreon weeks before anywhere else at Divorce Diaries Podcast Patreon page. Link in description. Now for today's episode. Heavenly Father, I know I don't come and speak to you very often, but I'm here today asking that you continue to give me the overtly obvious signs that I will follow and pay attention to you as I try to be a single dad one day hopefully positively be able to communicate with my soon to be ex and I feel that you're going to deliver me from this marriage soon this union and all the attachments will be gone yes this person will always be a part of my life but I thank you that they'll be a part of my life in just memory and most of these memories I don't even think about anymore I don't know what you're doing and what you did that took me from the place of thinking about her and my marriage often to not thinking about it often at all. But I'm thankful for that. Help me to not make another misstep when considering bringing another woman into my life as a single dad and how it's going to continue to affect my child. I've never been single before and I've never dated as a single dad before. Help me to be able to discern the right times to ever introduce someone to my child. I'm not saying I'm definitely going to screw this up, but my inclination is to never get serious with anyone because of the fear of how it could end. I'm no longer there. Yes, I'm in a more healthy place. Thank you for that. I guess the next step is to figure out how to integrate safely. Keep giving me clear signals on when it's time to do this versus that. I don't know whether this or that is a mask and forgotten its own and I'm doing that intentionally. God, the universe, karma, mother nature, Whoever, whatever, is in charge of whatever they are in charge of. I'm listening. I'm here. I'm not going to try to figure it out myself like I have in the past. I'm not going to ignore the reddest of red flags. I'm not going to try to make excuses for the reddest of red flags. I'm going to try to not... Create 
red flags falsely. It's a lot on the line. Please continue to provide me signs because I'm going to do my job and just continue to look for them. In your name I pray. Amen. Wow. That was the Divorce Diaries podcast. The Daily Saga will continue tomorrow. The full season's episodes are on Patreon now. Subscribe for early access. Click the Patreon link in the description. Hopefully these entries help our anonymous recorder as a form of his own personal therapy. That's his hope and his intention. Will these recordings of life's curveballs lead this family to the best resolution in the end? We'll keep listening. New episodes are released daily on all podcast players, but all episodes are available on Patreon at Divorce Diaries Podcast Patreon page. Until next time.